Hey everybody, this is Gurlal. In this video, we're going to talk about and uh, I'm going to demonstrate how you could move your on-prem files to Azure. The first step we're going to perform here, we're going to set up Easy Copy. Then we're going to connect Easy Copy to our Azure account. We're going to set up a storage account and then we're going to eventually perform those operations like moving files using this easy copy tool so let's get started the first thing first we're going to set up easy copy but in this section we're going to download easy copy and add easy copy executable file to our environment variable so that's easier for us to use it if you don't want to add easy copy to your environment variable then you would have to kind of always change the directory to wherever your executable file is present let's download the easy copy this is a link i'll be providing it below in the description my machine is windows 64 bit i'm going to download this i already have it downloaded so i'm not gonna bother to do it again i'm just gonna quickly go to my downloads folder where easy copy setup did get downloaded i'm gonna copy that executable file along with that text file and move to my c drive i did create this easy copy folder in c drive i'm gonna move those files in here uh, i already did that so so once they're in their path i can add to environment variable i'm going to edit my environment variable environment variable then you want to modify or add your path to this path variable for particular user that you logged in click new in here I'm gonna paste that link in here hit ok hit ok again ok here too now uh, I'm gonna go to PowerShell I'm just gonna clear my window here uh, easy copy let's see if that's been installed or added to environment variable as I hoped yes so it's it, it is showing me all these options available for me all right so now we want to connect easy copy to our azure account so three different ways to connect easy copy to azure the first is user identity in this case you would basically use your email uh, it's like a microsoft account that you use to connect to azure portal the second is manage identity this is something kind of role assigned to Azure VM. So it allows it to move files from server to Azure storage account. And the third one is service principle. Service principle is uh, similar to managed identity, but uh, service principle uh, mainly get used on on-prem servers. The reason you would configure managed identity and service principle um, in the scenarios where you would be having a, some sort of a script running on a servers that would run every 24 hour or whatever the schedule you would have set it up to move file or sync whatever the operation you're using um, to Azure. We're going to use user identity so this is the command that we'll be using to connect easy copy to Azure. Here you're going to grab your tenant ID so Go to your Azure portal account and uh, search for this tenant properties. Uh, when you go to the tenant properties, this is where you're gonna find your tenant ID. Copy that thing um, and add it to. Now we're gonna we're gonna need that when you run the add it to the command. So now let's connect easy copy to the portal this it's gonna prompt up with this link um, you're gonna go to this link oh, I had it wrong okay go in here uh, you might have noticed that it prompted with this code if you enter in that code hit next it authorize ask you what account you're using uh, this is the account I'm using yes I want to authorize this um, and that's about it when you go back to your powershell it'll prompt up with the message saying that the login succeeded so so far we set up the easy copy um, 
easy copy is talking to um, your Azure now. So let's set up a um, storage account now. So the storage account, um, you know, I'm going to create a new one. Um, go into the home here, storage account, creating a new one. You, you know depending on what you select you select the subscription the resource group I'm gonna name my storage account gsync sa um, and redundancy, redundancy I'm gonna select locally redundant storage and you know I'm not gonna bother modify any other settings uh, leave it everything default let it to be validated and create we're gonna wait here for like 20 seconds already. So this account is created. So I'm gonna click go to resource. It's gonna take me to my storage account. By default, um, your storage, you may not be authorized to make some changes to your storage account. So you wanna allow your this account to be able to move files delete files within the storage account um, what I meant even though you're owner but you may not have the permissions you know you could kind of quickly double check that if you just click on this role that is assigned to the storage account your owner but you may not have any of the permissions that allow you to perform um, actions like modify um, modifies uh, files create uh, containers uh, things like that so we want to assign that role to the storage account and uh, add yourself as an uh, um, authorized identity so we're gonna do a role assignment look for uh, storage blob data contributor So here it is. I'm gonna select this one. Click next. Um, user group. This is the one we're gonna assign to a, a user or a group. Uh, select next. Mm, huh, select a member. Sorry, I almost forget that. So in my case, I don't have a lot of users. It's a lab environment, so I'm just gonna select myself here. Select uh, review and. Uh, that's about it so we just wait for this to be assigned great so our storage account is set up we have our right permissions in place let's move files from az copy to uh, the storage account so the first thing first you know what let's say uh, az copy allows you to create uh, containers in your um, containers in your storage account too so I'm going to create a container. Um, uh, I'm gonna call it GS container. So this is the syntax you will be using. AZ copy make uh, the link to your storage account and uh, the name of the container that you that you're going to use. In my case, it's gonna be GS container. Hit enter here. Uh, it's checking the authorization and container is created um, you can quickly check that by going back to your storage account and you see this GS container prompted up here. now our container is created let's move files to that storage account or to that particular container so first I'm gonna start with moving a just a file um, so this is the syntax easy copy copy and this is the source folder or source location and this is the destination and destination is of course storage account and that container so this testing folder I have sitting in my download folder here um, so here it is testing folder it contains few pictures of me hiking and a test file so let's um in this particular instance i'm only moving this test file so let's do that hit enter in here and that file has been moved so i'm gonna come up here take a look and here is my test file so now um, i want to move 
that entire folder that I have this testing folder and all of the pictures to move to that container so let's do that so it's gonna be easy copy this is my uh, source location and this is the destination um, and this is gonna be a recursive operation because I want to move everything that is in this folder so let's do this it contains 11 files it's calculating and um, it's gonna move those files to that container let's wait here for a few seconds it shouldn't take that that shouldn't take that long okay here it is um, so it kind of gives you a, a, a quick summary to you, uh, how long it took to operate finish that operation and the number of files that it moved and if you know if, if it failed to move certain files it kind of give you um, the number here too so let's refresh our container and I have the testing folder in here and all those files have been moved here so now um, I want to try the sync operation um, sync command option and uh, so for that I'm going to delete certain files from my container and then try the sync operation um, in this case um, it's it's going to check what's available in the in the source folder and uh, replicate it to the destination location so again sync operation this is my uh, source folder uh, local folder and this is the destination folder of my container so let's this one uh, it's gonna check um, it's gonna check if the files are present there or not and then eventually gonna move the files that are not present so and come back here refresh um, we go um it's just saying just container gs folder so uh, if you notice i uh, created uh, moved in a folder so in this case I, it didn't get applied to that folder that i was hoping to but it created a new folder and uh, moved all the files in there so that's it that's with that um now if i want to move download files from uh, the account folder um, or, or from my storage account the testing folder or like a local folder I could do that so so I have this testing folder to set up and uh, I'm going to download files from my storage account to this local um, local folder so let's try this one so same stuff um, this time my storage account going to be a source folder and the local folder is going to be a destination and the operation is going to be recursive since I want to move all the files in that folder so let's try this one so it's going to download all those files that are available in that account let's go to our testing folder 2 and here it is it downloaded that folder everything in that folder got downloaded to this folder awesome um, so you know this is how you would move the files from your on-prem server to Azure account or download it from your storage account to your on-prem server I want to quickly show you what are the other options available with the AZ copy so once you do this one it'll show you what are the options that are available uh, you know what, what kind of operations that you can apply with AZ copy so I'm gonna try AZ copy copy and help um, I want to quickly show you that there are a bunch of variables or uh, syntaxes available that you could include when you're moving files um, for instance there is a include pattern um, this is include before so this is kind of gives you a summary too if you just want only want to move the files from the particular date or time 
um, it, it'll, it'll allow you to do that too. So um, there are a whole bunch of options available. For instance, there is a including include pattern string. So you know you could do the asterisk dot txt file so it'll only move that uh, particular type of files or pdf files whatever your preference so it'll only do that um so yeah check it out and uh, play with it um and um yeah that's it for this video uh, if you liked it please hit subscribe and uh, like the video thank you